Well, I have, that's an Adams. Yeah. Okay, Akatis. Mm -hmm. And this one here is a, a Grizzly Hackle. Those are the three, they're all along here as I tied them. I tied a half a dozen of each. I'm gonna make uh, one of those uh, Grizzly Hackles. How many, did you tie a lot this year? Yeah, I tied a lot this year. And I did a lot of painting. Maybe you ought to take some pictures of my paintings. <laughs> I will. I got some nice paintings over there. Right now I'm just putting the thread on the, on the hook and a little glue with the head cement. And I'll put the tail on, which is uh, some red bobules of a feather. Get a few more. I'm making a grizzly hackle fly or a gray hackle, like some call it gray, some call it grizzly. Is it a fly that you really like? It's very good for up here for salmon trout. Very good. Do you use it in the beginning of the season? Yeah, I'll use it just about all, all season long. Is that and, one that and fish it just under the surface. With a dry line just under the surface. Is that one of your uh, mainstay staple flies that you have? Absolutely. Many years ago, about 50 years ago, there was a fellow up here by the name of Pete Smith. And he was one of the best fishermen in the area. And I was on the river one day and I hooked onto a fish and he was sitting on the bank. And uh, when I uh, hooked a fish, a good fish, and after about five minutes, I lost it. And he gave me the devil for using too light a tippet. And I started uh, talking to him. And this was a fly that he always used. And he caught probably more fish than anybody in the river. So since then, I've used it constantly every year. And it's an excellent fly. What are some of the other flies that you that you enjoy tying that you always use? Oh, Hornbergs, Adams, and, and the uh, El Cacatus. Uh, most of the time I fish with a dry line. I used to fish with nymphs, but uh, You'll catch a, probably more and bigger fish with nymphs, but uh, I just soon catch all the smaller ones and have a good time all day long with these, uh, these flies. This is a, a neck, a grizzly hackle neck. I'll put some hackle on the uh, fly now. A trout, but uh, there was two other fish following it. <laughs> so you've been doing a lot of painting this year too. I have. I've well this this fall I got started to get back into my paintings, and uh, I've been doing some painting. What have you been painting this year? Well, I went out and took a shot of the um, <laughs> what, what's the name of that marge up there? The, uh, forest Rangers, Forest oh, Rangers okay. Service. I took a picture of that about two months ago and I painted that one. I painted a picture of, of uh, Lower Dam, 
And I painted another picture of uh, up in uh, Newfoundland where I was fishing. Did you spend a lot of money on all this, this stuff? Uh, I, I did years ago. I've got so much stuff here, it'll last me my lifetime and someone else's lifetime also. So you're not buying them, huh? No, I never, I never buy them. I've got more flies out there in the, in the Jeep. I learned from Harold Gibbs, who was known all over and one of the first to ever fish for stripers and bluefish on a fly. And he, he patented the Gibbs striper fly. And uh, there's a gray hackle all finished. 